We'll start it. We'll move it. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's Kathy. It is our Tuesday Tech Training Tuesday day. Um, it is the week. Is this year flying by for y'all or is it just me? April 12th. That way I know what to date it. And we are on our own today. So the principals are not going to be here. So we can we can be good students or bad students, whatever we want to. They're, they're busy on a phone call. So I am here for you guys. Uh, I have some ideas of some things we can play with and do. But first, I want to see if anybody has any questions, anything they've run into, um, anything they need help with. Ruben, what's up? Okay, that's that fantastic template, that free template. Mm -hmm. I love it. I would love to have it where it could just pop up itself and I can do something with it as opposed to right now I... I have to sign someone up and then I see it. Okay. So is there a way to go ahead and have a, uh, just like our invite uh, link to just all of a sudden just pop it up and then we can show it and not only show it, but then show them how to go ahead and implement it like a pro, you know, uh, a pro uh, promo card. So I had an idea. Let's see if I can find it. After last meeting. This is very, this is very official right here. This is my, here, pretend I'm ER and this is my whiteboard. So <laughs> I had this very official idea that I sent to the guys after the last meeting. Um, so my plan is, is I'm going to make a template, a custom template that you guys can download. It's going to say, get yours for free. It's going to say something simple. I'm going to put a link button. So you guys will have the link to your sign up, free sign up page. And then I'm going to do some screenshots. Here's what it's going to look like. Here's what it's going to look like. Here's what it's going to look like. Do this and you'll have a free account. I just haven't done it yet because I was moving all the Tech Tuesday stuff. So that's right there on the top of the file. It's coming. I shall make it. Will that be helpful? Yes. Okay. Perfect. That is already in the brain. Now it's just going to be in my fingers. All I, right, James. I actually oh. created, Go ahead, Anna. I actually bought a domain name. And I tied the link directly to that, but I love your idea. I think that's just amazing. So I'm, I just realized that I put the wrong link in there just about an hour ago. So oh, <laughs> no. it all. <laughs> I told you that uh -oh. last week. The wrong domain, but it's all, it's all set now. It'll be another 10 minutes. It'll be done. It'll be all so better. And I got a Thank Facebook you, also page with, with the same name. Yeah. Link it straight to a domain. Um, I, I just think that, um, and I haven't played with it yet, and it's either there or it's about to be pushed, but to where you can change that background color to a background photo. So I know that that's coming too, um, very quickly. Um, so I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that. And I have the other one coming that I know ER showed a couple weeks ago. So I'm dialing that one in as well. That will be um, an invite card that you could send to somebody that will have all the options. Click here to get shuffle, click here to get your tap card, click here to get um, free. It'll have, so you'll have a choice of cards that you can send to people as soon as I get them dialed in and how I want them. So working on both of those. James, did you have something? I saw your hand. Yeah, uh, first, and I told you last week, your, your link was bad, trying to copy me to give me a call. I got you back. Uh, but uh, seriously, actually, I, I got on late because I think the question I got either Mike or Danon asked about it before with the promo card. So I did a promo card for a client, set it up, send it to them, send the promo is in the section and there uh, it says the promo card for the client and they liked it. Well, the wife just signed up for the account last night and I, I made a card for her, she has it. So the husband's promo card, I was trying to share it or send it as a card index to the wife so she can have it on his account. And it won't let me do it. I tried to clone. I tried, yeah, I see you shaking your head already, Kathy. But <laughs> the one big thing that I also somehow found out uh, just by messing around, when it comes to the tap cards, so the husband and wife just bought two tap cards and I said, I'll just put it on your card. I can tap this promo card to his card but the QR code will not sync because I did it from my phone. And it told me, hey, you don't own this serial number for this card. So this is the you can You can connect the tap card, my promo card, to the card itself. The QR code not sync. And 
Shaking your head, Kathy. I cannot transfer the promo card to nobody else. So back to you. So yeah, so a couple things. So yes, of course, like we all know right now, if you did a um, advanced builder promo card, they're locked and stuck in those in those accounts as promos. Um, but if you do have, I think you've done this already, you have um, tap cards to, if somebody buys one, you can give it to them on the spot and have them just buy one, right? Okay, so um, if you do that, then just uh, have them, you or them message support and tell us who to, who to assign that card, that card to. So we just need like assign card, you know, five, seven, eight to this person. And then we'll, we'll do that. They are looking at the possibility um, in the future of you being able to set up a promo card and sending it to somebody, but that's just not, we're not there yet. So I do know that, um, for example, I was at one of my meetings last week or two weeks ago, and I had a, a guy who's in shuffle, and he's like, I just haven't, you know, really got that card locked in yet. So as soon as I really have it honed in and how I want it, I'll order that tap card. And I was like, Jamie, you can, you can assign that tap card, any card you want to, you know, any shuffle card you want to, and you can change it. And it, so most people are thinking, just so you guys know, when you're marketing this, that when they order that tap card, it's going to come with one link. It's going to be linked to it, and then it's stuck. So make sure that you are telling people, like, hey, you know, you can set this to a tap card, you can or a shuffle card, a website. You can change that shuffle card. Like, you can go to one meeting as one person, and the next meeting is that, and you can literally re-assign um, that tap card as often as you want to. Because then he was like, oh, then I'm just going to go order it. I was like, yep, just go order it. So. James just looks like he's having his own conversation with himself, just laughing that or I'm very- No, kidding. no, no, I, 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 I'm thinking about, yeah, like you said. And also just to add to what I did to help sell the card is I actually showed them, uh, tap, I tapped one card to it and went through the process and I actually went to the system, changed the card and tapped their phone again so they could see the fact they could verify, they could verify, I could switch it back and forth. So they said, we need two cards. So here you go, on the spot. Yep. Well, the other thing that I did was I did the, trick i did the tap card goes to um just a regular uh, mobile built card and then the qr code goes to the landing page build card so they can see the two differences on what those look like as well i know fancy fancy any other questions i was just going to go through some little things on building like little things that i don't know if you guys know that you can change little things that you can do on cards does anybody have anything specific they want to see or we can build Brittany, you have something for your event? I knew she was not saying something on purpose. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is very, very um, elementary question. And I think I know the answer to it. So I apologize if you guys all know it, but is there a way to not erase a card, but make a card inactive? No. Okay. But we've talked about that before and I've put that idea in their brains because i think that's really smart to be able to do that especially for what you do with cards yes right yes. like especially i just have my grand opening so i would love to keep the grand opening card for future events but i would love for it to not to be active anymore because it's over but there's no way to do that okay right so that would be an edit not delete situation where i would say what could you edit that into temporarily so that if people do go to it, um, it goes to something that is, maybe it's just your class schedule. Hey, mm -hmm. keep in touch for our next event. Yeah. Okay. Watch uh, it for And then hide events. all the other things is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anna, yeah, that's a good, good suggestion. The other thing that popped in my mind is clone the card. So I have it, but not make it active because nobody has the link and erase the active link, but that seems like a lot of extra work, so. It just, and it just depends. So if people, if you sent the link out and they have the link, you don't want to kill that card necessarily, right? You want to do the whole right. like, watch here for the next event. If it's just a QR code that you have on things that you think people are like, oh, I went to that event. So I pitched that thing now. Mm -hmm. That's maybe a little bit different where you could probably just remember that if you kill the card, it's just going to go to LFI. So okay. does it make more sense to have them go to something that's print for fit? Right. Okay. Thank yep. you. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for the suggestion, Anna. Ruben. Yes. Um, 
I know you have a, a Kathy's rule member, never delete a card. Okay, Kathy, you know, we have a hundred cards, okay? <laughs> and they've been made, what, five years ago, whatever. You can imagine how the, ta uh, the with, with as busy as we are to go to each and every card and then redo it and all that. You're so tempted just to hit the delete button, right? Right. Okay. If I went in that process and just forget about delete, 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 what happens? Tell us a scenario about that. And because if we don't promote that card and we haven't promoted that card for a while, then the receiver of that link, you know, we haven't, you can look at it, you know, you haven't got any openings or whatever. So what's the big deal, right? Delete yes. It. So, so here's my thing. Edit not delete came about because um, customer support gets a, and I wrote this on, on the, the page the other day because somebody else asked about this. Customer support gets a whole bunch of messages, right? And it says, I just accidentally deleted my fill in the blank. Best card, most important card, biggest card I've ever built, the card that's connected to the truck wrap on my car, whatever it is, right? It's the most important card they've ever made in their entire lives and they just hit delete. So my edit not delete is really think like seven times before you delete. <laughs> like where have I sent this? Where have I put it? Is there a QR code on a permanent structure that has this? Am I gonna? Is the 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 highway sign that I paid a thousand dollars for going to be affected? If the answer is no, delete the card. Right. It's all that's gonna happen is if somebody was to ever push the the, the link to that card. It's just going to go to lfishuffle.com and say, like, there's no more card here. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. Okay. So the but other, okay. Don't go. do it to the card that's attached to something that's a permanent QR code somewhere because I can't get it back. <laughs> I just have made too many people cry. And think say, about that also, Ruben. That it's going to go back to LFI Shuffle, but it's not going to be, go back to your link in LFI Shuffle. So if they decide to get another card, it's just going to be click right at that website. Okay. Right? It'll be a corporate, yeah. Okay. And then uh, are you, Kathy, you and I both use uh, Bitly, B-I-T. Mm -hmm. Okay. With all of those, what happens to those those when you don't use them anymore? Where, where do they go? Um, I have no idea. I've never gone back and done anything. Yeah, I mean, no one knows that answer. You know, it's like. Matter of wow. fact, at one point you couldn't edit them. You couldn't do anything with them. I don't know if you can. Um, I don't know what you can do with you them. You can hide them, and that's about it. Okay. But Kathy you know, says like they we're... go to Bitly Heaven. <laughs> 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 I don't know the answer to that. Uh, does anybody know the answer? Anyone? Any of Bitly um, super users? I don't know. I guess I can go look. I will. I will see if I can dig up that answer for you. I do. Not know. Because, of course, it's usually a temporary link I'm just sending somebody to. Uh, Kathy, what information do they need to put on a free card? Okay. So, hold on a second. Let's see if I can pull this up. The free card is a template now, right? The free card is a template now. Let me see if I have it, Kathy. If I can make this quick and easy, I can show you. Um, here we go. All right, since we didn't show everybody last time, or so, since we didn't uh, record last time, let me share my screen. So this is what the card looks like, Kathy. Um, so this is for the one free card. So this is a great stepping stone for somebody who just wants to figure out what shuffle is, wants one digital card to, you know, to start to network with. Um, you'll see that they get a, a reduced amount of things that they can do. Um, they have cards and card index, that's it. There's no contact section, there's no contact manager, nothing like that, right? So in this one card, um, when they sign up for the account, this will be in their, um, in their account just like this. So it's gonna go ahead and capture their name, their phone number, and their email. So those three things are gonna be in there automatically the minute they come in here, right? Now, the one thing, and this is what I'm gonna put on that free card in the snapshots, is 
I do think there's a little bit of confusion for some people because when they get the free account, they're of course automatically thrown into either Safari or Chrome or whatever, you know, wherever they made their account. So I think the, the very next step after they see this is, hey, go, go ahead and download the app and use the same username and password and log into the app and do your edits there because I think it's a lot easier, right? So, but from here, if they are on desktop, all they have to do is click the three dots just like normal, edit the card that they're given. Oh, there's the picture, it is there, it's active. So edit the card that they're given. Hold on, I gotta move everybody over. Um, so they can change the colors of the buttons. You can see this is what it's gonna look like, Kathy. So it is, this is it, this is the template. They don't go through and pick a template anymore. Super, super simple. Um, so they can do the colors, do the picture, and then they just start filling out the information. The cool thing, and we didn't go through this last time, and I can show you guys this. So let's talk about like the connect with me. Let's talk about it real fast. So you can see as I take these out, stuff goes away. Where's Instagram? There you go. So when it first creates itself, it's going to look just like this. It's going to it's going to grab their phone number, their email, or the text message, and their email. Right, so they're gonna have these buttons and that's all. So the contact me will be here and not until they start adding some of the other things will the connect with me pop up. So you'll see here, as soon as I put in the first social media, the connect with me banner appears. There is no social media, there is no banner. Okay, so then they can fill out whatever social medias they want. Um, however many they want. I don't believe this is gonna be uh, limited in any way. They can put their website here if they wanna use this link for something else. I know, uh, whoops, very popular right now is um, using that for their calendar. So they can put a Calendly button underneath that. Um, same with video title, it won't appear unless they make one. Right, one link, they get one. So this is it, this is what they get for free. Photo, name, who their, what their title is, who they're with, contact information, connect information, one link, one video, and then they can toggle on or off the lead capture form. Now, they don't have contact manager, right? So because they don't have contact, um, CRM in their shuffle account, this will be emailed to them if they decide to leave it on um, and somebody fills this out, it's gonna go to them in an email. So, but they get all that for free in the free account and then claim your digital card will go to you. So you'll get any referrals that come off of this. So you can see, um, you can see, let's see, next, next, save. So I'll show you what it looks like. <clears throat> so save to their contacts, top left-hand corner, share this card, top right-hand corner. And then that's the card. Okay, I love the card and the concept. So my uh, next question about that is, um, can you make a free card for somebody versus making them a promotional card? And the reason I'm asking is so that if I wanted that QR code to put on um, another card, you know, a physical card for them or something like that, is it possible to make them a free card yourself instead of a promo card? So that is the goal. Just so you guys know, the goal in V3 is that when you add somebody to your contacts, it's going to make that card for them um, so that you can instantly share it and go, hey, here's a you know, here's a card for you. It's your information. All you have to do is sign up for a free account. So here's the one sticky thing about um, making a card for them is just have them make the account and then maybe, you know, walk them through it. Or the, the sticky thing is the terms and conditions, right? So if we make the account for them and we grab their name and their email and we make this account. Is it possible? Yes. Is it, is it, really should we be doing that? I don't know, right? Because they're not agreeing to the terms and conditions, even though it's free, they're not paying for anything. So maybe just make sure when you do it 
and I know you're not going to do this, but we just don't want to promote like somebody goes through their entire Rolodex and makes free accounts for 5,000 people and then they don't know they're coming, right? So just make sure that it's maybe somebody who you're sitting with or you're working with or you're talking to and you're doing it together just to make sure it's, you know, that they know it's coming and they're going to get an account because then they're going to go through the email drip, right? They're going to be like, oh, welcome to Shuffle. We're going to be like, what did I, what, what Shuffle, right? So that's all. I would just be uh, be aware of that. So we just want them to agree to the terms and conditions and know what it is that they just got signed up for. Uh, James. James. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're in a bad part oh. of the bridge. Okay, I'm going to come back to you, James. Hold that yeah. thought. Ruben. Uh, yes, uh, Kathy, is there any way that we could, uh, lack of a better word, buy that? In other words, can we go ahead and get a free account on our own? Yeah, oh, absolutely. You just want to use in. a different email than what you have now? Yeah, t well, tell me how to do that. Yeah. What would I do? <laughs> Excuse me. So you just want to go to, um, hold on. You just want to go to, to shuffle, go to lfishuffle.com. Okay. Go in as, you know, go in as you, right? And then where you say get shuffle, you just want to go down here to the bottom and get one for free. Okay. Now, I will preface this with saying that that card is going to be available to everybody to use. So yes, you're welcome to go to get a one free card account so you can see what the account looks like and show people what that account looks like since it is different than our accounts. Yeah. Um, but that particular card is going to be made available to everybody to have in their account um, so that you have that, you know, to show people. So, but yes, so if you just go try shuffle for free and hit continue, make sure it's you, right? Make sure it's, so you get, your own self is your free account. And then just fill this out, use a different email address than you use for your other shuffle. Uh -huh. And then you'll have a free account you can use. Thank you. Thank you You're very welcome. much. <laughs> James, are you back? Can you hear me now? Yes. Now, now we can. <laughs> now you're James, muted. James, you're muted. <laughs> If you get in a car wreck while we're doing this, you're okay. Nope, nope, not happening. All right, all right. I'm waving you off, waving you off. <laughs> Brenda, your turn. Hello, everyone. Hey, I have a couple of questions. One, the tap card. Mm -hmm. um, once you tap an Android, I've been uh, using the tap card with Android um, customers that mm -hmm. don't to use their card. Uh, I mean, use their phone. Once it taps, it's like they, they don't know where it went. I can't see where it went on their phone. So for Android, it should open immediately in uh, Chrome. Because that's their so uh, that's their default if that if that's what they're using, right? That's typically their default browser. So an mm -hmm. iPhone it typically opens up in Safari and in Android it should open up in Chrome. Okay. Um, I do know on Android it's the back of the phone when you tap. Uh -huh. They should see the link should pop up, tap it, and it should just open in whatever browser they use. Um, I will say the only browser I've ever had a problem with is um, DuckDuckGo, the ones that are like really locked down and people don't want to be tracked and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I haven't had a problem with any other, any other browsers. Okay. And then my second question is your YouTube videos after you... Um... After Text Tuesday, how long does the video get on the YouTube? Yes. So I just moved all of them. Everything that we have recent is all in the YouTube, uh, is in the LFI YouTube now. All the way except for last week, which we didn't record. Um, so everything is up to date. It is in there. And as soon as I download this one, I'll put it straight in there as well. And it, um, we have everything all labeled now. And this is under the Tech Tuesday at Two playlist. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, hold on one second, we had another question in chat. Uh, no worries, uh, let's see, can we add a YouTube or Vimeo, but there's a way to upload a video of our own. There's not a way to upload our own video. Um, and I don't know if that's gonna come or not, because of course, at that point, uh, LFI would be hosting all that video, right? Because it has to live somewhere. Um, so my suggestion would be to upload it to YouTube. Um, if you have a Gmail account, you have a YouTube account. Um, if you need me to walk through that sometime, we certainly can. Um, YouTube is so quick and so easy and so fast to upload something to. Um, I've been at events before, had some do a testimonial for me, like literally like, okay, go testimonial. Like he spoke for 30 seconds, took it, uploaded it. I mean, I didn't even leave like a hotel lobby and I had it on YouTube in five minutes. It was up and on my card. Yeah, absolutely. So YouTube is just a really fast, easy way to do it. Um, that way, again, LFI is not hosting all that heavy lift of all that video. Yeah. That's so. Um, let me see if we had anything else. Did I miss anything else? Brenda, did you have something else? No? Okay. No, I'm still raised. I'm I'm saying. <laughs> hey, Mike, what's up? I was just going to tell you that some of the Android phones, uh, <laughs> it just pops up a quick menu or a notification, and it asks them to select which browser they want to open in. Okay. It'll just pop up and then it'll go right back down. They have to be looking for it. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. See, super helpful. I am, I am not an Android professional. That is for sure. So that, yeah. that means they have more than one browser maybe. Yeah. Okay. They got more than one browser app sitting on there and it'll just pop up, ask them which one, if they're not watching, they won't see it. And it'll just go away. Yeah. I okay. have, quite a few clients that, you know, I have to tell them where to find it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that makes, that makes sense now that you say that. Cause I, and that's why I said like, it could be Chrome or it could not be Chrome. Cause I know Android, you guys can um, opt to many different things. Um, so but thank you for noting that because I would not have known it. So Brenda, that might be the, the thing too, is have them watch real carefully when you tap it. And oh, uh, on that note, can they save it? Once they open it, can they save it as a screensaver? Um, so Before. once they open it, they can save it um, a couple different ways. They can save it to their phone contacts. Mm -hmm. Or um, now, and again, I know the instructions are a little bit different. They can save it as a um, on their home screen. I mean, so home kind of look I mean. like, is that what you mean? Okay, yeah. yeah. So on Android, I believe it's top right hand corner. Mike, again, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Top right hand corner, I believe there's an arrow or a, some kind of uh, three dots or something that will drop down a menu that will say add to home screen. I'm right. Oh, look at that. You, you then, have you have add to home. You have the three dots, add to home screen on the right. And then on the left, you have the hamburger menu, which is the three lines. And that's sitting over there. And then some of the Androids have the three lines sitting at the bottom left. And you click on it. It's okay. So that raises a little bit different. Yeah. So find the thing that ha looks like a menu. <laughs> or a hamburger. <laughs> home screen. On iPhone, it's at the bottom. It's the little box with the arrow pointing up. You click on that and you scroll down and you say add to home screen. And then they can usually edit it. It's going to come up with the picture that you have in there, but they can usually edit the words. At least you can on iPhone. So I usually help them and I edit it down to like the name of the business or my name or whatever it is that they're trying to save. Okay. So great way to have something quick and easy. You know, if you're just looking for something for like a networking event or something where you just want to pop something up and you're not as worried about um, tracking, you know, who's opening it really fast way or to have something that you're sharing. Right. So um, one of the gals, she was on a couple of weeks ago, Eileen McDonald, she's a breathing coach and she helps people relax. She works with like high level CEOs. And I was telling her like, that would be really cool is just to make a, you know, two minute video on something that you have, you, you teach your clients to save to their phone. And when they need to do a breathing exercise or whatever, they just tap that open, watch that video, go on with their day. I was like that, you know, something like that. Um, the other, uh, um, the other gal that uses that, that I, I, uh, she does catering 
And I was so her menu changes every Monday. So I was like, have your cl- customers, your clients save that to their phone. And then every weekend that they're going to order for that week, they pop it open. You've changed your menu for the week and they can have it right there. They don't have to go find anything. So I'm sure there's a million ideas of reasons to save it, to have people save it to their phone, um, home screen. See, try not to miss chat. Is there a way we can delete the photos that we uploaded to Shuffle that we have used on our cards? Um, yes, on the desktop. I don't think there's a way to on um, the mobile. On the mobile. Hold on one second. We can go there. Oh, that's not what I meant to push. Hold on one second. Let me pop back over. Let me get into the right account. Dun, dun, dun. I'll show you. I've lost that completely. There we go. Sign in. And Douglas. Okay. Share. Screen. Okay. So, yes. And honestly, I do this while I'm building cards sometime. I was just doing this yesterday. So, when you're in the cards, so I'm going to go ahead and create. Just gonna pick a card. You guys know I love, everybody knows I love template 18. So if I'm building a card, and this is the only way I know to do it. So if you guys know a different way, I don't know another way to get into my to my photos. Um, so if you go into the photos and I want to change it, see all the little buttons, little trash cans. So while I'm building cards and I'm waiting for other things to upload, I'll go in here and I'll just hit the trash can and they'll say, you wanna delete it? And I hit yes. So you can go through here, load up everything that you have. Oh, this one doesn't have a lot cause it's just the demo account, but you can see like here, I've got two. So I can take one, take away. It's like everything doubled. Yeah, it looked like it. Didn't it? Am I crazy? Did that just happen? Okay. You know, you're right. Hmm. Are you sure those are trash cans? I promise they're trash cans because it says, are you sure you delete? Yes. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, I'll clean that up and then I'll go make a recording for Dev. But yes. So I just do it while I'm uploading other stuff um, because they're just sitting right there and I'm just waiting for stuff to upload. Um, the other thing is on the images, this is the other places, the standard editor, editor images, these are anything that you've uploaded to the mobile builder. So if you have stuff that you have in the mobile builder, the photos and the logos and the product images are all separate. So you can see that you can go through and you can also use anything that you've uploaded to the mobile builder. And the really the only reason I think I would delete stuff again is if it's like, Sometimes I'll put something in and I didn't use that or whatever. But you, I don't know that there's a limit of stuff you can have. I know I have just pages and pages and pages. Um, shuffle images are, again, if you're making a card that you know is about shuffle and you want to use something. And then the photo library is just the one where you can go in and search for different photos that you can use. But I don't know if you guys realize that the standard editor images are the ones that you might have uploaded to the mobile device. Did you have a question, Mike? Here's your hand up. Never took it down. Oh, just checking. <laughs> I can't pay attention to all the things, so I just don't want to miss anything. Um, any other questions? Okay, let me go check chat again. Any other questions on stuff like that? Yeah, I've got everything caught up. Um, this is the one I was doing today. Hold on, let me put, I don't know where to put that little box of people. The people box. Um, today I was working with somebody else and I just want to make sure everybody realizes like that you can edit the colors on the buttons in case you're working with something that you are trying to make it, um, you know, either their brand colors or your own colors um, that you can go in here and change that little arrow. If you want it to be something else, you could make that something else. You can change um, the icon and then you can also change the words. Um, so a lot of times on this one, I actually put share my info instead of forward because it makes them even um, when yeah. you pull it up on the mobile builder. Otherwise the forward goes up 
and my info goes down and then that button kicks oh. up a little bit so it's a little catty wumpus it's little things i don't know little things like that you can also change the color on the words so i'm just super hyper focused on all the little things my add kicks in and i want everything to match um, like the google fonts <laughs> Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a font girl. Oh, yes. The other thing that is interesting, if you haven't noticed it, and I don't know why this is, but it's just a thing. Um, so if you change the background color on the card for the mobile builder, it doesn't change the box at the bottom. Yeah. So you can go in and change it, though. Just so you know. Because I've seen a lot of cards, like the people send me in that box will still be that same color. And I'm like, oh, you know, you can go in there. You can also go in there and hide either one. These boxes are separate. So you can leave. I love to have the Powered by Shuffle on my cards. But I do sometimes hide this because I think it's a little confusing. So I'll go in there and hide just that one. That one section instead of both sections. Or you can hide both sections. Um... What else were we doing today that I was like, oh, you could do this. I can't remember. Any questions on any of that or getting down no, to the nitty gritty? Cool. Yeah, Kathy, remember one time we hit the wrong thing and it got all fouled up. Did they, could they get that all squared away? Um, this, hold on. See, I gotta keep builder. Add section, no, don't touch the add section. Still don't add a section. Okay, right there. Okay. Yep. Don't play with any of that stuff. Okay, good. Yep. I don't know why that hasn't gone away yet, but it is still on my my hot list. Sanders, you have your hand up? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Back down on that uh, the bottom two sections, the uh, forward my card or save my card uh -huh. and the powered by show. Uh, I accidentally left them uh, as white backgrounds once. My daughter saw that particular card and thought that was cool. She yeah, it made it really uh oh, I lost you. Nope, didn't lose me. I just stopped talking. Oh, that's okay. Nope, I thought that you was I, all I want. sound like you faded out on me. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you like it different colors, a hundred percent. Um, like I said, I'm working on something right now where I I want like kind of bands to go across and so i'm using those as kind of the stoppers of each section so you could certainly do that i mean you could even do that with um you know with titles or with words i've done that before you can go in here of course right now i have everything dark in the wrong color but um core text so you could take one of these you could clone it you could make this more of a center it, make it more of a banner. Fold. And then kind of like what I'm building right now. And then take the next one. So here, again, this is not exactly what I'm doing, but then you could take this, put the text back to black put the background uh do i have this wrong oh the background is the color that's why hold on what have i done this with before this one background color there we go So you could make this Oh no, not that word. Not that word. And then make it more like a banner. And then have this section be a different color this section be a different color. So you could keep repeating these and having different things be banners. So again, it's to me, it's it's so um, 
it's so much up to your imagination, right? Just because that's the name doesn't mean it has to be the name, right? Just because one thing is a picture doesn't mean it has to be a headshot. It's really starting to, you know, for these, again, like we talked about a couple of weeks ago, I consider these more like landing pages. If I'm going in here and I'm making something that's going to be um, either something I connect to the web or something I put on the URL or something that I just put on a, um, a page that I want somebody to land on and just see the information, Again, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hide, you know, the forward and save. I'm probably going to hide all the ways to connect you know, to contact. I'm going to make those under the buttons and make it way out more like a web page. Um, and then, you know, again, like we talked about before, is then then post paste them together with the links and give them the hey, how do you want to find out more about me information, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, you can absolutely use these and do different colors, different banners. Leave this white. Leave it whatever color you want. Really, because you can change all those colors in there. You can uh, change. The, Kathy, on the left hand side there, when you're uh -huh. you're creating this, what's that padding about? Padding is where the words lay inside the box. So margin is how much room there is between two things, and padding is where how much room there is inside the box. box. So for example, here, so the margin, let me find one that'll be really obvious. You can see I can change the margin up and down. Oops. So now there's more margin above and below. I can even make it more obvious. Okay, so that's margin. And then padding, is gonna give it more room this way. So if I change here, let me show you. And see how it's moving it in the box? Do you see that, Ruben? So it's moving these words inside the box. It's not something you're going to use as much. See how it's making, it's manipulating the box? It's spacing it, mm -hmm. creating space. Yeah, so padding's inside the box, margin <laughs> is outside the box. That would be a very big button to click on. <laughs> up, where, up there where you have that red uh, box banner, mm -hmm. uh, can you take out the words from that and just would it leave that red banner without words on it? Mm. Yes, okay. Little bitty. Yeah, but so, to, to separate segments, I was thinking, yep. okay, got it. Yep. So now the key on that is going to be, I'm pretty sure, um, and I'd have to go back and test this, is the first one of these, right? The one, so I grabbed the first one, right? I didn't clone this. This is gonna be the words that go through when you text somebody where it typically would say Kathy Inman. So if you want the words to say Kathy Inman, you'd put them here. If you want them to say one for free, you'd put them here. If you just simply wanna have, I, you know, say for example, you still wanna have I can't grab it, there we go. Say so I still wanna have Kathy Inman down here. Then what I'd wanna do is um, clone it. Oops, I'm cloning the words instead, hold on. Undo, clone it and use the second one because the second one won't be attached like the first one would. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So the first one is always the one that is defaulted to grab information on. And then it would send through whatever picture you have here. I think we've talked about this. It may have been a little while since we talked about that. But if you want to have a different image go through, um, 
for example, we did this for, I know Britt had to jump, but for her grand opening. So her picture, her um, headshot was on her card, but when it sent through text message, what we had right there in the little box was the one that said, you're invited. So a different photo went through and was her iPhone was the um, preview image that they saw when they got the text message. So all you did was to clone that to make it different? Yes, so you just clone the section. Okay. Yep, you just clone the section. So now this section here is still gonna be whatever I want it to be. If it said one, oops, one, four, three, and that's what would go through when the text message goes through on the preview. So whatever I have in the first initial box is the one that, that matters for what the computer or what the system is gonna pick up. So I could also do that. So again, thinking outside the box, this is why I always say, make yourself a contact. You guys probably don't believe me, but I literally send myself a thousand text messages because I'm always tweaking and constantly checking and seeing what it looks like to the user, right? So even for me, even though I'm building it, even so even if I'm building something in the custom builder, right? I'm pulling it in, I'm texting it to myself, I'm looking at it, I really wanna get all the little things together and make it so when you know somebody does go build it for themselves or they're using it that it comes through and it it um it makes sense right that it's pretty and that it looks nice and that it's you know exactly what you guys are looking for um, you sit and watch me like everybody laughs because I, I hum or i sing i think out loud i don't know i do something i make lots of noises when i'm building it's very funny are we allowed to clone the wag card um absolutely so not all of the elements are editable matter of fact most of them are locked down um, so that it's just something that you can use and send. I think I left it where you can write something in the paragraph, like, hey, I invite you to come to this, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't even know if I put a picture in there, to be quite honest, but yes, you can um, clone it, or not clone it, but you can add it to your account. You search WAG and put it in your account, and then you can customize, I think, the paragraph, and I think it can have your name and email and phone number, maybe. Um, if you want something else on it, let me know and I can go back in that builder and we can add something to it if you guys want um, pictures or something. I don't, I don't remember if I put a picture on that one or not. It was really just like an invite. It was supposed to be something super simple that y'all could pull into your account, send out with your name and invite a friend. But yes, it's back there if you... Um, we'll get out of here. I believe it's just wag. I don't know if Doug has it in his account. Or matter of fact, Doug may own this card. Um, desktop. Oh my goodness, W. I get for trying to go fast. There it is, right there. Yeah, it'll download to your account. Uh huh. Um, this is something I've been playing with. It seems right now a lot of people are going out to vendor shows. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, on Facebook, they're going ahead and showing photos of it. And I'm not kidding you. Maybe about this one particular show had maybe, it looked like 25 uh, booths. Mm -hmm. And only one person had a QR code, you know, built in there. And I know this individual that was taking the pictures. And I also know one individual that has the booth. And I created a card real quick with a QR code and send it to him text wise. And he goes, wow, you know, that was, I don't know, you know, I have to follow up and follow up, but I guess right there on the floor, he has the QR code on his phone, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess theoretically, he can go ahead and start using it right there in the booth just to get firsthand experience, is that right? Certainly. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, even with a free card, that was really, I mean, so you guys know, I mean, it really was something that, you know, Guy and ER really went back and forth on. We really wanted to not offer the whole farm. Obviously, we want people to have a reason to upgrade to shuffle, but we wanted to really give a 
very good value in that free card. And so even yeah. a free card, right? So they can have a QR code and lead capture, a very simple lead capture um, for free, right? It's going to go to their email, but they can still get that information. And so I would say go to a vendor event, meet the vendors and introduce yourself, right? Hey, this is what I do. Next time you have an event, yeah, I highly suggest you do X, Y, Z. I have, I took a picture the other day here in Texas, here in Dallas. Um, there was a, when those huge um, banners for, I don't know, name something, Congress or city council, I don't know, but there's some election. And on that huge banner was a QR code. You guys, they're going to be everywhere. I think I mentioned this before. I even saw something on like Gary Vee said, like, I can't wait to see what happens in the next few years with QR codes. They finally have a foothold and we can help people have a QR code in what, five minutes. They literally can have a free business card and a QR code and we can help them to network better. Take the free card to your networks. Anybody that networks, introduce them to Shuffle, talk to the people that run it, explain to them how it's going to help their members connect faster, easier. Imagine walking around with every other member's card in your role, you know, in your, your virtual Rolodex or whatever you want to call it. But I, I just, yeah, that free card is going to be a game changer for all of us. 100%. So, any other questions? This has been so fun. This is a good one. <laughs> I love just answering things and making things and building things. And so, I, I could watch you play all day. <laughs> <laughs> you should see me in that other builder. I'm like, oh, yeah, I just, this is what I do at like 11 30 at night. My brain can just like relax and go crazy. So, but yeah, I mean, literally, if there's something that you guys, you know, once we pull these out and once I, you know, put these live and if there's something else that would make more sense and that you guys want in these, in these cards to download, um, I'm doing something similar to that free card room. And I just want it to be something that you guys can easily, you know, put in your account and have and um, be able to share. I mean, right. I, I, what I thought of last call, I was just like, this is what I would want. So why don't I build it for everybody? So, and Dana, it's coming, the code. We're getting, um, Dev is getting that card coded so that you will have that card for your account. I'm getting, as soon as I, as soon as I know it's live, I will make sure you have that code. So. So a special card or? Dana's busy having lunch. Um, it is the free card. So the free card is gonna be available for everybody to download into their account. I just have to get the little template code thingamajobber. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're just waiting for Dev to assign that a code and then everybody can download that for free. Rose Michelle has a question. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Is there a way we can hide the locked elements on the WAG card if we clone them? Um, no, if it's locked, it's locked. It's locked, it's locked. And the only reason I did that was so that like, Again, somebody didn't delete a Zoom room or a code or something. It was just like easy. And again, you didn't have to do anything because otherwise then it's like, oh, I just accidentally deleted the same room. You know, poor support. It's like, oh. so if it's locked, it's locked. But if there's a reason we should unlock it, pitch me the reason. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm thank you so much insane. I gotta get back to work I've got a couple of cards to help them create so oh no worries no worries yeah, Absolutely. get back to it yay <laughs> I love it um well I think we're almost done anyways okay guys if that's all then today has been a great tech Tuesday thanks for going through all the little uh oh look at this look at oh this is everybody tell guy like shh we'll tell him we'll tell shh guy. okay okay don't tell don't tell guy though no. don't oh no uh oh yeah we here. gotta be quiet about that oh man we really mm. we really probably, probably shouldn't have said anything mm. yep. you let the cat out of the bag <laughs> it's okay i'm good with it i won't tell nobody everybody okay pinky swear everybody's on pinky swear hey guy hey how are you i'm doing well how are you how's everyone doing <laughs> we're doing get, good getting sleep yet What's that you getting any sleep yet? No, oh, I don't. If it's not one thing, it's another. So, nope. <laughs> Every time I text I him, he, he has a fire going on. 
so no we did good we uh went over the free card a little bit again and we went over a couple little design ideas and we talked about um putting people on the, the free card platform and bringing it to our networks and we talked <laughs> about all kinds of things and we remember to record it you know what's awesome about the free card is i'm seeing a lot of people starting to use utilize it and what happens is they're starting to upgrade which is which is pretty cool because that free card is is very valuable from the aspect we we talk about it there's other platforms out there that's selling something similar to that for hundreds of dollars and so free yep. there's more value yep. there than than you can shake a stick at <laughs> we did we did talk about that and i told them like you guys really went to town looking at like what should we give away what should the upgrades be and the value in that card really i mean again we just talked about this you know being able to give somebody a qr code in less than five minutes and having them leave capture i mean that's crazy it's very unique you guys i've been doing a lot of uh research and just looking at other platforms and seeing what other people have so that you know we do know kind of what other people are offering and having a custom um lead capture form very unique having the landing page-esque way to make things that's a shuffle thing there's i mean there's no one else that's doing that kind of stuff especially for the price range that we are and real-time analytics right. mm -hmm. that right. right there is so huge because i ask people about that i'm like well can you see analytics oh they're oh yeah they send it to to me like once a month I'm like, once a month, what about right now when the customer's like looking at your car? Right. Right now, like, like right now, I'm like, yeah, right now. <laughs> right now, right now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for hooking me up with your friend, by the way. I talked to her, the uh, hypnotherapist. I talked to her from Arizona all the way back to Nevada the other day. And she was a wealth of information. She's a very nice lady. I love it. I love it. Uh oh, what's up, Dana? Hello, hello. Hello. I have one question. Uh, excuse all the noise in my background. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Uh, okay, I, I made a promo card. I sent it to someone. Uh, they replied that they liked the promo card, but I didn't get the notification saying that they opened it. Is hmm. that because I, we didn't have any interaction on the text? Or is that because, I mean, what, what would be the reason for that? Because I know you said you got to have some type of interaction on the text before you get the analytics, right? And you texted it to them? Well, no. You know what? I actually sent it to them on Messenger. That's probably why. Okay. Yep. Because on Messenger, uh, I don't think Messenger gives analytics. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Just knowing some of the platforms, you know, if you did get a notification, what, what we identify with Messenger especially is you're going to get a uh, view notification right away because the their system is looking at it to make sure it's, it's something that can be sent without flagging you as sending something harmful. So you're, you're going to start, if you get that notification, you're, that first notification, just be aware that it's probably Facebook Messenger that's looking at it before the individual. Yeah, okay. no, sometimes I you didn't don't get, get any notification. Yeah, and sometimes it, you don't get any. It depends, right. on, it depends on what link you send to. Was it a link that was um, attached Generated to their contact? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you just pull, if you made the promo card and just grab that link and threw it in there, it's not going to track to them. Right. Okay. So you still have to make it for them, send it like a pro, like a send, uh, send it as if you were sending it to a person, grab the link and then put it in Messenger. And then you might, it was like the other day, actually, uh, Ruben, you were just talking about Bitly. I was making a Bitly for a card and it got clicked, I think, two or three times because Bitly was checking it, like okay. looking to see if it was a legit um link so every platform is a little different and you just have to kind of learn those platforms but to send it to track it you have to make sure it's a trackable link to that contact yep. so yay all right guys well it's been another good tech tuesday we'll get this wrapped up and put on lfi facebook or 
YouTube. And uh, if you guys need anything before next Tuesday, you know where to find us. Otherwise, let us know what we can help you with then. We'll do something new, some other new fun thing. All right. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye, everybody. <laughs>